hospital acquired surveillance and outbreak management. Outbreak management measures. Definitions. Hospital acquired outbreak is defined as an increase in the number of hospital acquired or any healthcare facility acquired cases of disease among patients or staff over and above the expected number of cases. However, if there are two and more cases of hospital acquired infection with the same organism linked to the same exposure at any given time or location, it would be considered an outbreak. In some situations, one case is considered an outbreak, for example, MERS-CoV. Outbreak in healthcare facility are often multifactorial, including branches in infection control or clinical practice, contaminated devices infected or colonized patients and other healthcare workers. Other key definitions, we have case definition, which is defined as a criteria applied, such as clinical criteria, laboratory criteria, and other diagnostic method to identify a particular infectious disease. But in the cases of the outbreak investigation, there may be limited on time and place to reflect the unique scope of the suspected event. Cluster. Clusters mean a combination of cases grouped by time and place that may be gathering than and the expected number, whether the expected number is known or not. Also, it refers as small outbreak. Colonizations, it means the presence of microorganism in a host without clinical response or damage to the host. Often found to be a sign of infection. Colonization, it may be referred to as, as a point of source of infection when the exposure is limited to a single group in a brief period of time. Control measures is defined as a various action arranged in order to interfere and reduce or eliminate the occurrence of a communicable disease or infectious. Measure may include patient isolation, enhancing cleaning and disinfection, enhancing hand hygiene and staff education. Environmental sampling is defined as involving collection and testing of sample taken from the environment like services, air and water, or sample taken from healthcare personnel, from their nasal or groin and axillary to assess and determine the potential source of outbreak. Line list is a list established by the infection control personnel to assist and guide an outbreak investigation by documenting and organize demographic data, clinical risk factor, and host or other contributing factor to the outbreak. Pseudo outbreak, it means an increase in positive culture result without evidence of disease, frequently attributed to contaminated specimen collection, lab reporting, and biases. Remember, each hospital should have clear policy and procedure for managing a hospital acquired infection outbreak in the hospital, including early identification Initiation of appropriate control measure to prevent the spread to the organism and assignment of rules and responsibilities to 
the members. Policy and procedure should guide the staff for investigation and control of hospital acquired infection outbreaks. There is a written policy and procedure for dealing with the outbreak in healthcare facility based on approved scientific reference and national MOH guidelines. Activities, document. The audience should review. Policy and procedure of outbreak should be comprehensive. Incorporation of all aspects of dealing with the hospital outbreak based on last national update and approved scientific references as follow. Policy and procedure for dealing with the hospital outbreak must include all steps involved in outbreak investigation, a step of follow-up investigation of an outbreak. The other domain of policy and procedure of the outbreak management should be full applicable, which means all elements of the policy should be a comply with the hospital scope of service. Two, based in significant references, an outbreak management of the healthcare associated infection EMOH guideline should be updated and other references like GCC, CGC, and MOH, and APIC. The policy should be signed from authorized personnel, like the owner of the policy, which is the infection control department, hospital director or medical director, quality de department, and concern department. The policy should be approved by the infection control committee team, policy should be valid within two to three years and when indicated. There is a defined outbreak management team chaired by the hospital director or medical director with a clear role and responsibility and include all key members involved in outbreak management. The audience should check the document regarding the outbreak management team. Each healthcare facility is required to establish an outbreak management team with a clear roles and responsibility for each member. The formulation of team should be approved from the hospital director with full authorized with document. The term of reference document enlisting the member of outbreak management team with role and responsibility for each member. The auditor should check for approval of OMT by a hospital director. Member of outbreak management include, but not limit to the following. Hospital director or medical director. Head of Infection Control Department, Infection Control Personnel, Head of Nursing Department, Epidemiologist, Clinical Microbiologist, Infectious Disease Consulting, Pharmacy Department, Head of Concern Department, Environmental Health Officer, Occupational Health Officer, Supportive Service Officer, and Supply Officer. Additional member to be added according to the nature of the outbreak. And control measure of hospital acquired infection outbreak in the affected hospital are led by the director of the infection control department in the hospital. Activity, document, and staff interview. The auditor must review the following document. He should check the last hospital acquired infection outbreak report containing the details of the outbreak investigation and control measure taken to stop future occurrence. If the hospital has previously experienced any hospital-acquired infection outbreak, the, audience, the auditors must check and confirm if the report was 
prepared and signed by the Infection Control Prevention Director. Must check if all outbreak investigation notification form were filled and submitted by the Infection Prevention Control Director to GDBIC as per regulation. Example, must check the outbreak notification form, check the line list, the outbreak management action plan. For the staff interview, the auditor should interview and ask the infection prevention control director about his or her role in outbreak investigation, ask about the difference between the true and pseudo outbreak, Check, ask about the OMAP with implementation and assess if the infection control director is aware and has a leading role in applying all outbreak control measures. He should also ask about the different mandatory outbreak reporting form are to be submitted to Regional Health Directorate and GDBIC. He also should ask about the channel of communication with the cluster Regional Health Directorate and GDBIC. The outbreak management team members are trained and have experience and skill in management of outbreak based on last national EMOH guideline and regulations. The activity, check personal file and staff interview. The auditor should review the personal file to check for basic qualification of all outbreak management team. Randomly review the OMT file of outbreak management team member and verify if they have confirmed and received attendance for any outbreak specific training activities like any workshop or symposium conference either local or national or international check the relevant certificate evidence of attendance in the personal file The auditor must interview the infection control team and relevant member of the outbreak management team during the hospital tour and ask about if the infection prevention control team member and OMT have received a copy of the update EMOH hospital acquired infection outbreak guidelines, the OMT rules and responsibility in the management of an outbreak, for example, how they respond to the outbreak, what control measures need to be taken, etc. Must ask about the last outbreak they have been involved and what was. They also ask about how they will confirm the existence of the outbreak. If an outbreak is suspect, the Infection Prevention Control Department are at the hospital director through the approved communication channel and the OMT will be activated consequently. The outbreak will be discussed in the nearest committee. The activity document. The auditor must review the following document in the Infection Prevention Control Department to confirm if all concerned stockholders were informed about the outbreak. The auditor must check the official approved channel of communication used to alert the hospital director about the outbreak. Like official email, written letter addressed to the hospital director from the infection control and prevention director, and fax. Remember, verbal notification and WhatsApp is not the approved channel of communication. The auditor must review the official email memorandum addressed to, the, to OMT member about the presence of outbreak and activation. Match with the OMT member document and match if all members are addressed 
Cobit in email or memo. Review the meeting minute of initial OMT meeting to confirm OMT was activated. Review the infection prevention control committee meeting minute to confirm if outbreak was discussed in infection prevention control committee meeting. Check the date when an outbreak was declared in facility and confirm if discussed in the infection prevention control committee meeting conducting after work. Applicable if facility has a previously experienced any hospital acquired infection outbreak. If an outbreak is suspect, the infection prevention and control department activate the notification through approved national platform based on national MOH guideline and regulation. The activity document and staff interview. For the document, the auditor must review and check the patient data is entered correctly, check the GBIC web page national platform by searching for the last outbreak registered in the platform by outbreak code. For a staff interview, the auditor must ask the infection prevention control de department member about the mechanism of notification through an approved national platform and also must ask who should be notified once an outbreak is declared and in how much of time. If an outbreak is suspect, the OMT member meet weekly or as required and the meeting recommended action will be implemented and followed. The activity is document. The auditor must review the following. Must check if the OMT member are conducting weekly meeting to discuss the outbreak situation and the issue of the outbreak and give suggestion and solution. Must review the meeting minute all meeting conduct from the date when the outbreak was declared. He must check if the agenda include all major issue with recommended action. Check the status of recommended action in the subsequent meeting and follow if there is any issue unresolved or there is open or new issue. In the same time, review the OMAP and check if it is implemented and follow up the progress or monitor the tracking. If an outbreak is suspect, the facility implement an outbreak management approach, investigation forms, line list, conduct track and outbreak management action plan and final report based on the national MOH guideline and regulations. The activity is document and staff interview. The auditor must review the following document in case an outbreak is declared and all key stakeholders are notified. The audience must review the outbreak investigation for the line list of all positive cases involved in the outbreak, the line list of all healthcare workers involved, infected or colonized, contact tracing for the outbreak management action plan with a regular update of status. Final summary report, the OMAP has been activated to control the outbreak. Review the control measure if completed and applied to the all type of outbreak. For the staff interview, the auditor must ask the infection prevention control team member about the step of investigation, about the different type of form used in managing the outbreak and the significance of each type, assess their knowledge and awareness about this form and how they will be used and report. 
there is a well-designed notification system between the Infection Prevention Control Department, laboratory, and all departments in, in the hospital for any critical values like NDRO and positive culture. And all this value must be monitored regularly. The activity is document and staff interview and observation. The auditor must review the following. The notification system of critical result received from the laboratory. If there is manual notification or electronic notification system. The auditor must check the logbook the electronic file in the Infection Prevention and Control Department showing the critical lab result received from the hospital laboratory, like all type of MDRO. The auditor must randomly check two to three notifications received from the lab by a specific notification system and match the date and time of notification with the date of positive culture results. Also, must check any evidence of regular monitoring and analysis of critical results for early detection of outbreak to prevent further transmission. For example, department meeting minute for review of the result, analysis with the note on the electronic database or manual logbook. The audience also must check the report of data analysis of MDRO if available. For the staff interview, the auditor must ask the Infection Prevention and Control Department members about the notification process or mechanism of communication between the laboratory and the infection control department for, report, for reporting critical panic result. Also, must ask the infection prevention control department team member about the frequency of discussion and review of this critical lab result and their further intervention. During the audit round of patient care area, the auditor must ask the staff randomly about the notification process, check any recent critical result, and match with the notification received from the laboratory, match the date and time. For example, the candida aureus result in ICU or in medical ward. Randomly, during the audit round in laboratory, the auditor must ask the lab personnel about the notification system between the lab and the infection control department and all departments in the hospital for any critical value report. Thank you.